the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. This shit's fucked. I don't. If you haven't heard it, um, I'm not a news reporter, so I don't give a fuck if I report anything. I'm not reporting shit. I'm just sent talking about it. it happened. When did it happen? Let me look up. I got. I'm, I looked up a train derail. It is bad, guys. I am. I would be very unhappy. Um, if I lived anywhere, in, I I would be just unhappy if I lived in Ohio. <laughs> but if I live near, <laughs> sorry, people in Ohio. I just kidding. Um, uh, I'm mad. I mean, fuck them. Emergency crews responded to a train derailment on lane, on the East Texas Freeway. And oh, this is in Houston. I'm fuck. Oh my god. I guess we'll go to CNN. What the fuck? Who cares? They've been a little bit better. Because since their ratings got so fucked. I don't. The night of February 3rd, Ratner was watching his daughter's. I guess the CNN's talking about some dude. When the crash happened, he was watching his daughter's basketball game, didn't hear it over the noise of the game, but when he walked out of the building, he could see the massive blaze. So this happened on February 3rd. Here's from, um, this is bad, dude. They're, I think this is a lot worse than what anybody with a train company or the government is saying. The EPA has, this is from response.epa.gov. So this is actually information that I would not trust, but it is the information you should be repeating. EPA is supposed to a document from Norfolk Southern listing the cars that were involved in the derailment that they were carrying. The U.S. EPA continues to conduct air monitoring throughout the East Palestine community. Air mo- community. Air monitoring since the fire went out has not detected any of levels of concern in the community. Um, here you go. Look at this picture. Uh, where, dude, there's a gnarly picture. This is a good one right there from Fox News. Mm, yeah, I don't know, man. I'd have to say that's probably in the air. Uh... Wow. Residents may still smell odors from the site. If you experience symptoms, Columbian County, Columbiana County Health Department recommends calling your medical provider. They're going to say, get your vaccine. Yeah, take your booster shot. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. I mean, this is terrible. Um, You know, when they, they, the train workers tried to strike, they said, hey, can we have a day off? Or if I'm sick, can I not come to work? And the government colluded with the fucking corporations that run everything, of course, and fucked the train um, workers, the railroad workers. So I got you guys in my thoughts. Um, support the fucking railroad workers, support your union railroad workers, fuck the companies. They should, I wish they could have striked, I wish they could have changed the shit because it is fucked up, dude. It is not right what they are doing. Instead of buying into, um, instead of the, the railroad companies along with collusion with the government, instead of in taking their profits and investing, um, how much did, hold on, look. Uh, Norfolk Southern 2022 uh, profits. Norfolk Southern today announced fourth quarter and a full year 2022 financial results. This was reported from nscorp.com. I can give you fourth quarter. Here's the 2022 summary. Railway operating revenues were a record, a record 
$12.7 billion, up 14%, or $1.6 billion compared with 2021, driven by an 18% increase revenue per unit. Railway operating expenses were $7.9 billion, an increase of 19% compared with the same period last year, driven by higher fuel prices, inflation, network congestion, and higher compensation and benefits. Lies. Income from railway operation was $4.8 billion, up 8%, or $362 million year over year. That means for, I could... I can make I could clickbait it and say twelve point seven, but really even still, uh, income from operations was four point eight billion. You know where that four point eight fucking billion went? It didn't go to safety inspections on the rail cars. It didn't go to improving the rail lines, building more rail lines, so that you as the paying customer get the consumables that you order faster. Um, it did not go to medical time, medical leave, or medical days off for the rail workers. It did not go to hiring more rail workers to monitor and operate the railway systems to ensure a more safe railway. What that fucking money went to was the shareholders. And let's go. Let's look it up. Who owns... um, the majority stakes in this company. I would love to know. I'm sorry you got to listen to me look these things up, but I think of things as I talk about them, unfortunately, and I don't have a producer. So if anybody wants to be my producer for free or very little money, please let me know. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. Okay. Norfolk, their biggest owners of this company are Vanguard Group at a 7.68 stake. They just sold 73,000 shares. I wonder why. JP Morgan owns a 4.5% stake. BlackRock. BlackRock Fund Advisor owns 4.54%. SSGA Funds Management owns 4.47%. The Lazard as you notice there's no names, no people. No people. You can't go back to somebody and ask, hey, why the fuck did this happen? They do this on a reason. All of these, LLC, LLC, Capital Management, Capital Research, uh, Clearing Services, Management Group, So, no, that profit did not go to fucking improving the rail worker safety, rail line safety, or hazard prevention. It went to stock buybacks, share buybacks, so that these fucking holding clearance house, uh, corps, LLCs, um, you know, uh, ambiguous legal conglomerations get paid very shadily. So um, because they're greedy, you know, and and it's rarely in life you can say such definitive conclusions, but because the shareholders want to make always more and more money, the people of Palestine, Ohio, now have a river of dead fish and will probably have groundwater contamination for a very long time a la Flint, Michigan. So, um, being that I watched, of course, I said earlier I watched the Three Mile Island documentary, I've got a feeling that this is going to play out in a much similar way because it's not as if uh, politicians or the government has become increasingly hard on corporations, if anything, less. So, Um, be ready for, uh, you know, be ready for lies, be ready for, um, 
statements of no, there is no hazard from the public when you go on TikTok and there's a lady filming her river and there's dead fish floating everywhere. But no, there is not. Um, I am very much thinking about the people of Palestine, Ohio, and of East Palestine, a town of about 5,000 people evacuated. Really looked like a pretty town. Um, fuck, dude, that's so sad. I, I really think about you guys. Um, I hope that I hope that if anything, you guys get a nice fat paycheck from these assholes. I don't really think anything is worth fucking poisoning your town. About 4.5 metric tons of toxic chemicals are shipped by rail each year. Well, where is, um, five days after a train carrying vinyl chloride derailed and exploded near the Ohio Pen Pennsylvania border, crews ignited a controlled burn of toxic chemicals to prevent a much more dangerous explosion. The, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Pittsburgh region alone has seen eight train derailments over the last five years. About 1,700 annually occur nationally. Wow. I'm trying to look at what exactly the chemicals were. They have cut the hell out. Okay, here we go. Rail companies laid off more than 20,000 rail workers during a year period in 2018 to 2019, representing the biggest layoffs in rail since the Great Recession. And the nation's rail force has dipped below 200,000, the lowest level ever, because it's expensive. You know what? One of the most expensive things it is running a business, paying employees. They had cut the hell. They cut the hell out of the workforce, and there are big plans to cut it further. Kamenko said, just because the rail companies are profitable doesn't mean they're healthy. Um, so I will pray or do whatever you do. Just keep the people of this town in your thoughts. It's incredibly fucked up. I wish you guys the best. I wish I was in a position to help or do more. But all I can do is talk about it and make spread awareness. Um, people need to know that uh, corporations are cutting costs and making profits at the expense of uh, public safety. It is absolutely disgusting. It's nothing new. It's, you know, um, how many fucking oil spills have do we have to see? How many fucking toxic waste dumps? How many blah, blah, blah? They, wh it's just constant. And you fucking idiots that um, preach the liberal version of climate change as religion that has just been captured by the fucking um, World Economic Forum, um, you're, you're really fucking, you're, you're not putting any cause towards um, actual climate disaster. So um, please keep these people in your thoughts. Let them, you know... I hope we, the rail workers can get better. I hope that the safety is increased. I hope all the things happen. Very sad.